post-modernity is seen more actively as a leftist thing than modernity. Modernity, it's more or less a left and right wing kind of thing. That being said, post-modernity, when I see it, the symbols are there, but they don't mean anything. I look at modern symbols for modern products, and they look less and less fitting for their actual product. When I see, let's say, the old logo for Doritos, I like how people say Doritos, especially uh, white guys, they, little six-year-old white kids, they do the Doritos instead of Doritos or some shit like that. But anyway, it looks more like a logo for a tortilla -ish chip. The logo kind of has that tortilla chip design. And now when I look at the Doritos logo, that logo could really work with anything. And I liked citing Doritos because they had a, they always stayed relevant with their logo. In the late 90s, they wanted it to look as extreme, as edgy as possible. And now they're fitting in more with the times where it's less about extremeness and more about being postmodern. Just for postmodernity's sake. The symbols are there, they don't mean anything. You look at the logo for the WWF. I really don't know why I'm using a lot of product logos, but that's just how it is. In the beginning, it looked more like a logo for a wrestling company. Then the Scratch logo came in, that was a little more extreme looking. But now the logos are starting to look more and more vague. This could be a logo for a shipping company, especially a logo for the WWE Network or the closing logo for Raw or SmackDown. It looks less specific to what it's advertising. And that's a natural result of destroying any form of hierarchy. Take a Taco Bell, for instance. Their logo, that red bell, looks more like a logo for Mexican food. It kind of makes me think of that for some reason. I don't know why. It just stuck on my head. Chipotle, you go in and you hear indie music and design is basically just like organic food and the color palette is so vivid it looks more like it's trying to peel the feminine side of your brain with minimalism and that's a big factor for post-modern imagery minimalism because when you take away the hierarchy you take away the level of depth And you don't need guy, cis, gum, gender fluidity to active, aggressive, militant gender fluidity. Just need to take a bunch of people that are too lazy and rooted in, or rooted in now, modernity, to keep following the trends. And... It'll all eventually just become great glop, meaningless boredom, minimal schlop, and slime muck. Any slang word I can find. It just becomes semen stains everywhere. Not trying to be disgusting or visual, but you know, visual and disgusting, yes, but not in that 
perverted sense. Just... Hmm... Amino acids, some kind of acid, primordial soup. That's what life is being rendered to. And it's what I mentioned in my Neon Genesis Evangelion review for the end of Evangelion film and things of that nature. Just Things like that. The end of history. The fact that our culture is so meaningless that at times people just feel like ending it. Close the book. Nothing's worth writing. All these different meaningless things. Let's all make them look as undistinguished as possible, as minimal as possible. Any message with depth just has the level of abstraction to formulate that depth. There's nothing behind that abstraction and it just becomes a meaningless mantra that carries less of a message than an angry stormfront message. Think of that for a second. <laughs> it's safe to say that when I think about stuff like this, it doesn't require leftism. If Japan can have modernity and without having leftism, then so it shall come to pass that we may deal with post-modernity without the need of leftism just because we have the aesthetic and we work nothing with it. Minimalism is easy. Just take the colors you like, take the simple geometric shapes you like, Take the basic quotes every 15-year-old girl uses on Facebook. Uh, use all of that, but use it homogeneously and without a layer of interestingness. Just cool abstractions. That's all. And you can do that easily if we stop caring hard enough. And I certainly don't care about a lot of stuff. You see, euthanization, becoming a eunuch, becoming castrated, doesn't just start at the nuts. In fact, there's a deeper level of castration. It's right here. It's in the soul. It's in the entity which brings forth life. And virility. And... Even more than just virility and nobility. Those are concepts specific to a lot of things that we're not talking about now. A lot of ego, not a lot of other stuff. Take care. Just think about it.